ready for some more robot gaming. And Silvio, it, they're staying hero for as long yep. as hero has been in the game. Right, and starting here on Battlefield right now, Silvio already catching the gyro in his own hand. But Zane not having any of it. It is gone off the side now. I like the stagger pressure there by Silvio onto uh, Zane's shield. I right, got the Accelerado on deck. Hero is now a major threat if he can get in. Yeah, finding your way through with Accelerado may not always be the, the case, Using the, especially with the platform layout. You're able to just speed on by a Zapple. Oh, that, was a so oh. that was so ambiguous, though, thinking that they're going to land, but instead falling off stage. It, it delayed what could have been a much harder punish. And since you got a little bit of time, throwing out the oomph on as well, Silvio trying to just get settled a little bit here. You have the buff online, but you've been unable to fully utilize what makes Hero uh, very consistent, which is their grounded normals being uh, so prominent. Things like up tilt and jab are so, so effective. But, ooh, that neutral air almost getting, uh, almost getting a catch with the Kafriz. Not finding it, though. And you mentioned about Hero's, you know, really good ground normals, but I feel like so far Zane has been playing a pretty grounded game, whereas, you know, uh, Hero's normals that you mentioned are pretty good anti-airs, and Zane has just not been playing into that. Playing a very patient game right now. All right, bounce on deck, though. That is super important for this matchup, and uh, Silvio is decked out like the whole Christmas tree. Yeah, Accelerado and Psychup is still online. Psychup will take Psychup up air, being able to chase down, and that's the beauty of Battlefield. Able to reset everything on that top platform, and when you have the stats, you can chase just like Ch uh, Zane chased Silvio all the way down low that time to close out the stock with the forward air. These two really in you know, incentivizing what makes uh, what makes this game so. Uh, frustrating and so overwhelming is that when you get into advantage both Rob and to some extent Hero can be thre super threatening but the neutral is going to be a little bit more slow paced and we're going to be a lot more pokes as Zane shows off one of the best in the game in that down tilt. Right, great, uh, great roll read there by Zane, putting Silvio back off stage but now Silvio starting to get some momentum of his own. Right, really tried to pr uh, press buttons on Zane's shield. Things ready for it though. And another great uh, pivot down tilt from Zane. Looking for that down air, but manages to get the arm murder. That is going to be Silvio's second stock. Only 50% on Zane right now. Yeah, calling out the neutral getup in space. It's so, so well done from Zane. And it really, the ledge trapping in general has been immaculate from Zane, just shutting it down much of Silvio's uh, mix ups by just short hop nairing in place then uh, proceeding to threaten ledge after that. Look at a couple short top nares, really shutting down where Sylvia wants to go, and Sid coming down aggressively and going for the... Speaking of aggressive, Ooh. the Kazapple and Zane finds the up air, getting Sylvia's third stock. Game one, going to Zane. Like, part of me wants to wonder if that was a misinput, right? If the Zapple, if the Kazap meant to just be a level two, but... They fully committed to this. Yeah. Silvio, no reaction in the camera, and it was just, all right, we're full swing in here. If Zane falls into this, great. If they don't, well, game then, two. Game two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Still, it, I don't hate the idea of Battlefield when it comes to picking your starter from Silvio, but Rob is just so threatening on this stage in so many different ways. And if you're a character that can struggle with getting out of disadvantage in some cases and you give yourself uh, so a really solid platform layout for extra defense, Rob is a lot to handle on that stage and and many other stages as the bands coming out from Zane are Pokemon Stadium and Yoshi Story. So anti-cheese and anti-big, though there is right. plenty of other stages to go to. I miss what they picked, but either way... You can see here in just a second, Ow. running it back to Battlefield. We did see uh, Silvio pulling out the uh, reversal swooshes uh, to combo break a couple of times. And as you mentioned, that can help a little bit uh, with Battlefield, you know, making the frame advantage a little bit better after the swoosh, giving you some better drifting options after after the fact. Yeah, I feel like uh, it hit the nail. Yeah, almost finding the forward smash afterward, but falling off the platform. I think, you know, falling off the skates, excuse me. 
Uh, I think he hit the nail on the head a little bit earlier, Force Armor. The the way that Sane is playing is extremely close to the ground. Like, we'll see forward airs, we'll see neutral airs, but everything is out of a short hop. The only way they're chasing is if they have a vertical starter with something like up tilt or a throw. Every time they're sticking close to these platforms, they're sticking close to the ground, and Silvio... When, it ha when they're able to try and catch Zane juggling, they're doing a very good job of it. But throughout much of this game, it's been the forward air and jab show, which is good enough, but not exceptional. Especially when Zane is just being is able to very much shut down how Silvio is able to find a lot of stops. Silvio looking for some ledge traps of his own, but Zane just fighting their way down using the neutral air. Psych up now on deck. A lot of heroes' options will kill, especially if he can get. Uh, grab. Does get the zoom. I like Zane's use of the gyro to try and cover as much space as possible uh, to catch zoom. Psychup still on deck. See if Silvio can make something happen, but the parried back air is going to get rid of it, and a Zane up throw of her own is going to be taking Silvio's first stock. What a turnaround. Silvio not... Um... Both Zane and Sylvia were really uh, looking for the grab interaction, but Zane called out that extra layer before Silvio even thought of it and got the stop off of it. Trying to use that accelerator to add to the edge guarding game plan, but Zane with the stall throw and just waiting out the entirety of accelerator. But don't worry, it's back. <laughs> we're here. Not to worry. <laughs> oh, that was clean. Getting that jab one anti-air into the uh, into the throw, baiting, uh, expecting the immediate air dodge. But as much as you have these little tricks and traps in neutral and able to find some small openings, you need to find this stock. Without psych up online, throws aren't going to do it. And Silvio got the uh, sizzle out of the menu, but it was blocked by the gyro, and he took a laser for his troubles. There we go, finally getting the up throw. Silvio on the board, but after so long just to get Zane's first stock, and it looks like you're going to be losing your second already to the arm rotor. Yeah, Silvio trying to commit low, and that was exactly what Zane was looking for. Just immediate runoff arm rotor. Oh, double jumps with the up air, and you could have gotten a further if you, I think he did normal up air like so, Ooh. but still able to find these accelerados, which apparently are glued to the menu, <laughs> and keeping things up intact by just raw speed. Oh. That was such a good down air by Zane. Sylvia just barely able to make it back. The jump call out as well. Laser comes out, and Silvio throws in the towel with no jump. Not willing to hunt for Zoom, which can be just as much as a help as it is a harmful on a stage like this, where you can land on this top platform and just be in disadvantage. Silvio decides she's got it, and we're going to roll from that. Yep, sometimes it's just, you know, for your mental health, you don't want to go through rod, rod ledge trapping. Let, let me look at that one again. The way that... Let's slow this down a little bit. The way that Zane covers multiple options by baiting out Silvio's aggression. Like, we saw both spot dodges there, as I'm going to rewind it here. Just a little bit. So, Zane is sitting in shield and Silvio's in the corner, but with Psych Up Online, the threat of death is very close for both players in a spot like this. Zane choosing to, choo uh, to play a little bit more defensive in the corner, but by flashing shield, you're giving Hero and you're giving Silvio the most tempting option at high percents like this. Psych up, up throw. A threatening, threatening kill uh, kill move that you really do have to be ready for at inconsistent timings. By flashing the shield, but then going for multiple spot dodges, by going for multiple spot dodges, they're able to pivot into what was, I'm giving you what you want, but you have to change up the timings which then incentivizes uh, the change-up from Silvio, which Zane was already ready, ready for by throwing out different defensive options at different timings. It was really niche, but it really worked out by, throw, by being able to interchange and interplay between spot dodge, parry, and holding shield.